everyone, today I will be showing you how you can make this really fun square knot loop pattern with beads. Before we get started, I want to let you all know that I recently released my brand new macrame guides. There's a lot of great information inside these guides, so please check out the link in the description to learn more. Now, let's get started. Start by attaching one cord to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Then bring in a second rope and attach it to that first rope with a square knot. So just stick it right behind the original rope. Take the right side over the two cords in the middle to form a loop. Then pass the left cord over the right, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. Pull it tight. Now take the left side over the two cords in the middle to form your loop. The right side then goes over the left, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. Pull it tight. Repeat with a second cord. Add one more cord to the center cords. Once all three square knots are added, we're going to take our bead and add it to the center two cords. Now we're going to take these first cords here, so the bottom cords. We're going to move down about a finger width of space and tie another square knot below the bead. Take the second set of cords and tie another square knot below the first one we just tied here. Repeat one more time with these top cords. Once all three square knots are tied, we're just going to take the very bottom one and push all three of them up towards that bead until they are squeezed up next to it. Just like that, and you'll have these really fun loops off to the side. Let's do it again. Take your bead and slide it onto the two cords in the middle. Move down about a finger width of space. Take your first cords here, so the ones on the bottom, and tie that square knot with that amount of space. Take the next two cords, tie your square knot below the one you just tied. Once all three square knots are tied, take the bottom one and just push it all the way up until it touches that bead and secures it. 
This is a really fun pattern that you can keep repeating as many times as you would like. You can make plant hangers with this or add it into wall hangings. I think if you added multiple panels of this design for a wall hanging, it would be very, very beautiful. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.